Hey, one of the common things that we get asked is, do I have to provide my own car or can you guys source one? Today, we'll answer that. Hi there, ho there. Whoa, whoa. Careful. Hey. Oh, yeah. Be copyrighted. <laughs> Sorry, you're <Tim. sighs> How are you? Dusty. Yeah. I've already hosed myself off once or twice. Oh, my. So. You're a messy boy. Yeah, I'll be doing this most of the day. That's good. It's looking good. It's getting there. This is, this is all the, the real small stuff that... Uh, you know, that's the high attention to detail. It takes a lot of time. Really, when we're done, you can't tell. Yeah. It's all the stuff that just doesn't get seen. So, it's like little tiny, tiny divots. And so tiny that's what this little... Divot. That might be copyrighted, too. Yeah, probably. So this is Herster 60. I should be getting the body back tomorrow okay. or today. And it's not a then we'll start doing that. But I've got most of the rest of this done so everything over there is done and ready to go into sealer again okay all nice straight and shiny and these are the last two panels that i'm dealing with and i'll probably end up shooting high building the doors which are lagging behind this afternoon so i have something to do okay well not something to do but continue the process right so all right so oh wait we had a question oh okay. and then then i want to see what's going on oh okay all right, so I got a question for you. Oh, cool. I like questions. <laughs> uh, the question comes in a lot. When we're talking with people about doing a restoration, often they'll ask, hey, do I need to provide a vehicle? Like, or can you find one for me or help me find one? Or should I just go get one? So what do you what do you say about that? Either way, uh, I like being able to, to just, you know, get the client's car that they've had it for a while. But if you're new in the hobby and don't know where to look, um, Buy, you know, but make sure you ask good questions. Get the best one you can for the price you can get. And the more more you pay, generally, the better shape it's going to be in. Because the people who own these cars own five or six of these cars or have over their lifetimes. And they they know the value of it. Sure. Um, you can try to jock them down a little bit like anything. Everything's negotiable. But when you're buying, always try to get the lowest price you can get for the best quality. When you're selling, always try to sell at the highest price you can for the best quality. Right. So... I don't mind if we have to go look for it. There will be a service fee if we have to do that. Um, and it's basically a finder's fee. Um, we just tack it onto your bill. If you've already got the car, bring it on in, have some fun, and, and we'll take it apart. Great. But, and so some places that people can go look, and we've talked about this in a different video, but just very shortly. So a car show is a great place. Oh, yeah. Um, Samba's pretty good. Yeah, Facebook, Facebook Marketplace. Not yeah, bad. and... and you don't forget about the local newspapers too because there are some of the old timers who really aren't online so you'll right. be able to find deals that nobody's really looking at um craigslist was a big thing for a long time yeah and that sort of died off a little bit with the, the scammers and all that other stuff but you can still find a good quality car at a decent price but don't be surprised on some of the prices i was looking yesterday not for a client i just happened to come across it a 21 window i think it was a 67 lots of rust mm -hmm. almost as bad as rusty for twenty thousand dollars oh my goodness no motor no engine no vin plate what? no m plate but i mean well it has the body stamp for the yeah. vin but uh, no title i 20, mean thousand. Twenty thousand for wow. basically a rusty <laughs> and it's like that thing's wall art and that's expensive yeah so uh, you know but is it worth saving I Depends think so. on how bad you want it you know? yeah because yeah. i mean you can buy brand new shells sure on on buses but 
Is that a true bus? That's so the thing. You've got a lot of options to, to look at where you're going to go purchase it, if you're going to have us purchase it. Either way, we're fine. We just love building yeah. the cars. Well, and so the other thing, too, is it might be, you know, just be careful. Be careful to understand what you're buying. Yeah. Because we've had people come in who brought in a quote unquote restored vehicle that tacoed on the lift. It was held well, together was with zip ties. Time, yeah. I wish we had video. I mean, that was oh, before. Oh, that was but... horrible. It was a Gia a couple years back. And... Yeah. And they, the clients actually ended up having a source of car for them right. to redo after they sold that one. Which is gutting because, you know, they paid a oh, lot for, yeah. it's just, it happens and it's horrible. But and, just make sure you have somebody check it out. If the car was restored correctly, they would have gotten a decent price. Right. Um, but the car wasn't restored correctly. Exactly. It so a lot moral, of of the, moral of the story is make sure you know what you're buying and yeah. if you have to bring in somebody to take a look that's a great thing yeah. and we don't we yeah. don't mind if you've got a car you're looking at for us to to take a look at it and look at the, the pictures and you know see what we can see and ask for more photographs and we don't mind doing that kind of stuff yeah if you're going to be our client we're you know we want to see what this is going to oh, yeah. be <laughs> so can you let me know what we're starting with please right because right. that's that's one of my my lines i might actually do a t-shirt of that one anyway let's see what's okay. going on in the shop yeah, so Mabel, is she acting right now? We had some issues with her last week. I think she's acting right. I've been hearing here sanding, so... Okay, so can she open the bonnet now? Oh, or? yeah, that's that's open. Ah. Uh, this, this dude actually He's the did one it who figured last it out, Friday huh? at 4.30, came in my Was office Was it on the said, video last week? Yeah, so... Yeah, us wrestling with so it. So for everybody out there, the fun things, there's fun things every once in a while. <laughs> the, the hood on the early Beatles... You open from the inside, and it's a cable. Right. And it actually runs on the outside of the car, but in behind the bonnet. So it makes it a little difficult. As we walk out, I'll show you what that looks like without everything. But So it was stuck. The cable wasn't broke. We could hear it moving. But for whatever reason, I still think that the hood seal was so tight that it had back pressure pushing up on it. Uh. But he was real close to cutting this custom handle off there, yeah and there's no way to replace there. it because yeah, it was so hydro dipped and after i got a minute and everybody left me alone i got up under the car <laughs> and so underneath it as everybody oh. knows in the bw world there's an access hole right down here where your your shift rod oh, yeah, can come yeah. out and that was out but the spare tire was here okay and not only the spare tire but there's the oh, emblem so that oh big air right was in the center of the spare tire taking up even more space yes so the knob the nut for this was pretty much in line i could barely see it but uh, wow. uh so we got the spare tire spun out of the way so there was just a straight shot to it and i took about seven and a half different Four inch uh, <laughs> extensions. It was about this long, and then a flexible one on the end. And I got it up in there and got out of the nut, and it started turning. I thought it was turning, but then it was turning too easy. So I was like, "No, it's not turning." And then finally, it just came out, and the nut was on the end of it. So Yay. when I got the top nut out, I carefully took the handle without scratching the paint yep. and spun it. And my intention was to spin the bottom one out, but it wasn't having it. So when I got this spun around the bottom, this is a fiberglass bonnet. So when I got it spun around the bottom. I could flex the bonnet enough ah. like that, pushing with it, and it popped loose. Yay! So, we got it okay. so now we're going to put an emergency release on it, which they all should have, and yes. everything from this shop from here on out will. Good. We, I, and we normally do that. I, yeah. just, I missed that in this car. Yeah. This was so, built as a show car, and then we changed the hood. And, and that yeah. would be a, a cable where you could come up here manually and pull it if, it, if, it's, if that happens to break. Usually they break. Usually right. this is a weird circumstance it's, where it's the a solid, it's, a, it's a solid cable it's not a flexible yeah so right. it's really weird that it wouldn't pull it but it's just one of those things but anyway so we got that going on there and yeah they if you look at the stance he put the yeah the tires so so mabel for everybody that doesn't know would scrape popsicle sticks on the ground oh yeah she was driving so she was real low so we brought it back up so it's it's drivable okay for for, us, for the owner this is good and uh yeah Yay. so and uh we're the owner cannot wait to her, so she's uh <laughs> So she's back in, uh, almost she's, back she's in business. In short list mode. Yeah, she's in short list mode. So um, these are some of her old parts and her old tires that were on that were too low. So I guess she was about, what, five and a half inches slower, I think? So yeah, five, five, and five, five and a half. Yeah, five and a half. Which is real low. Yeah. So the beam was basically, when we brought it on concrete, the beam was about less than an inch from the concrete. Ooh. So that was pretty low. Yep. So when I came in the back, it, it raked gravel in. Oh, yeah. So anyway, so. Gremlin Bell's still on? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. 
So it's a tag. We were going to head that way, but it's a tag into what y'all were talking about cars and picking a car. I was going to go back to Harden and show you so you can okay. see what happens when a car gets blasted and you thought it was good. And right. It That's a perfect example. Oh, yes. So if we want to go back there, we'll take a look at it because it has some severe rust problems. Yeah, we'll go this way. I got to open it. It'd be easier. So just for those, for those, those of you that are talking about buying a car, sometimes the car painted will look good yeah and may have been repaired there's this is a this is a 57 old beetle back here mr harden and uh i got it to where we can access it we're good so it's a 57 old original car and he brought it in and wanted to get it painted well we obviously blast it so here's what happens with some of the stuff you can see so if you come in and you can maybe zoom in on that b pillar right there mm -hmm. how bad that is oh yeah and then we'll come right here on the A pillar, which is really bad. So this is pretty much a structural part of the car. If you can see it, Swiss cheese right here. Oh. And none of that was visible until it got blasted. Wow. So, and then you, you come on up and you can see there's little, these are not that big of a deal. This is a, this is a common one here. These are some of the spare oh, parts, yeah. but that's a common. It looks like lace. Yeah, exactly. So we have to cut down. These ones over here, so that when you get into the pillars and stuff, like we said, wash your fender. Mm -hmm. But there's that one also. So you're talking about the whole front of this car is resting on these two pieces right. over there. So you're, yeah. you're pretty much like when you put all that weight on the front of the car. So yeah. that wasn't found and, and, and all this wasn't found until you blast it. You right. see the luggage tray inside, yeah. how bad it is. And so, wow. so that just kind of tags into when you when you find a car, when uh, Spook was talking about letting us find a car, is this is kind of, not that you, we can see all this, but there's certain things. This you would have been able to see if you pulled the carpet back. Sure. Um, but if you're just buying a car, you're not going to do that or not know where to look. These are certain specific areas. So those eight pillars, the reason is, is your rain runs inside your window, seals get through, mm -hmm. and it runs down in the pillar and sits down in there. Um, and this is the body on the pan. There's, you know, obviously certain areas look over. Oh, but yeah. this one is, same thing. It runs in your window seals and runs down inside and just pulls in the lowest part of the car wherever it is right and then the same thing with the b pillars it runs down the b pillars and gets down there all from window seals yep. so blast is a beautiful yeah, thing yeah so anyways, heartbreaking. That's a, that was just a little tag there's, yeah. there's a bunch of other but that's that's what can happen and you could not none of that was visible when the car came exactly. in. exactly and so. if it you know so blast takes bondo off as well yeah, if bondo, somebody gets stuff uh, uh, yeah any kind of a crappy repair glass, all yeah. kinds of stuff they put on there so that was just a tag into looking for a good car because that car looked great when it came in oh, to yeah. the layman you would have been like oh that's a nice 57 oval right until it like, got blasted well it will be a nice one but it's, it's gonna, gonna yeah we're gonna repair work. all that we got a new piece of mail the good news is they make a, almost all those parts right so we can that like those b pillars we actually bought the bottom section it's gonna be all brand uh -huh. new so um we don't have a lot going on on Riley except for I'm working with the interior. She's going with an oatmeal interior, so Beautiful. I'm ordering that. We're going to do that. We have custom seats coming in for it, so we're going to do it. Great. Um, Herbie, we're still waiting on some parts for, for Gazzo. Four Gazzo's sitting there. Yeah. Um, waiting she, and waiting and waiting. So Herbie, we've got, we're waiting on parts for Herbie too, but we got some in. We sent out the seat harnesses to a company called Seatcraft down in Florida. Oh yeah. For Safecraft, and they uh, they re actually rewebbed them. So it's yeah. his original hardware, but they rewebbed the entire Great. Uh, harnesses and got those back to us within Safety. a week actually. So. <laughs> and, oh, that's uh, pretty fast. Yeah, that was really fast. So, but uh, so that's what we got going on with him. Let's see what okay. else we got going on out here. We got some movement out here on a couple cars. Um, so Mr. Fonseca's rail, we have got it going on back. It's obviously you've seen it. it's been different areas yeah. of shop, but uh, we're in the finishing stages on it. We've Ooh, got just a few things. Are huge. Yeah, he got his motor. Uh, Shannon put the motor in, and, and I think he's gonna be able to fire it for you. Can you fire it? Wow. And before he did it in the car, we have a test stand on it. It's probably been videos a hundred times, but we test down the test stand. He got it all tuned down the test stand, and then we put it in the car. That's a good it. thing. It's a lot easier yeah, to work with, right? So, yes, it is. <laughs> so he's doing some final brake work and, and a couple other things, and we got a short punch list on this, and this will be going nice. home soon. So Yes. That's pretty cool. But it's it's under her own power now. and uh, mm -hmm. That's a good thing. We're good there. Yeah. Great. Uh, Mr. Hersher's car. 
Um, Josh has been working on it. He's not here right oh, now. Yeah. He had a doctor appointment, but uh, he's this back to the hardened car we're back there. Yes. This is a 60, same type of deal. Same These thing. were all rusted out. We had to cut. That's a whole right. brand new piece of metal there. So that, and the week before that, you had seen he'd done these. Yeah. Um, and up front, we're doing a bunch of work too, where he's had to come in and fab little pieces here. Sometimes not big enough to cut metal. So we'll use the welder just to fill it in. Oh, then we'll sure. grind that down and do that. So That's he's smart. getting, he's got actually some metal pieces here that you cut out that he's gonna put in there. These are holes that, over the years, people drill holes for whoever knows what <laughs> in these cars. So yeah. some of these holes are supposed to be here, but uh, several of them aren't. Like, so we go this? back and put it the way it's supposed to be. Right. Um, this was another car, same, not as bad as the back there, as you can see. So that piece is uh, somewhere around here. Yeah, I lost it. It's here somewhere, that I'll show you. It's it it like, somewhere. It's here, I just saw it, here it is. So this is the standard piece. Like I said, they don't make all those pieces, but that's your that's your little spare tire well that sits there. And okay. It's that little access hole that we, yeah. we used to get through to Mabel there. So, um, but okay. yeah, so this one's in his final stages. When he shows up here, uh, he's got about two or three hours left in this, and then we're going to turn it back over to this guy. Ah. And the next one they're getting painted. And then Josh is back on the roof on that. And then we're back on that. We do got some work on it. It's taking place in Rusty a little bit, so Rusty. Rusty's been out, out, we get, came outside to be out in the sun. Yeah, you got a little sun bath We fabbed this last week, but now it's actually welded oh, in. So this nice. this is in here now. Wow. We took the roof section, which is on this side over here, because we have to customize the roof. So this is his old roof. Uh-huh. And we took all the rails and stuff that, for the rag out, and there's actually a company that we send that stuff out to, and they rebuild it. It's all the stainless oh, wow. parts of the rag. Great. So we're sending that off, and they're going to rebuild all that. And we're going to have to use some parts out this and fab it into the roof there. So some, these areas here, that we'll, we'll have to put in, we'll have to cut those and scab them into the actual roof, new mm -hmm. roof section. And uh, that'll be taking place soon. So maybe by next week, by next week for sure, we'll have some more roof sections up on, on there. Should have the roo the rear and the front skins at Exciting. least. Exciting. Yeah, it's starting to it's starting actually to come looking. Together. I know? actually walked up and saw Rusty from the front sitting there and it looked like a bus finally. Yeah, I was going to say, it finally looks look like a bus. Front, it has it air box on there yeah you can see kind of the framework of the look at that of it. so it looks kind of like a bus instead of just a bunch of metal right and they said it couldn't be done they said it couldn't be done <laughs> it's on the home stretch so yeah um and then really after the roof section what we got to do is hopefully our uh air ride suspension gets here because when the air ride we're waiting on the air ride to get here we have to actually cut back into a lot of the metal that we made oh. to make room for the air air ride which is yeah. notching the the, uh, it's all stuff you're, you have to do, but notching the frame and stuff like that to fit all that. But we have to put the mm -hmm. air tanks on there, so we'll, there'll be a whole segment on that when we get to that, and that shouldn't yeah. be too far off. But uh, I think I might do a video install on that. Yeah, so they install. The of Sundays. course, that'll be after paint. You'll see several videos of it with this guy for a while first, because mm -hmm. we're not far from it. Actually, I know it doesn't look like it, but we're not far from it going to, to, to body work and paint wow. here soon. So. Um, there's gonna be a lot of cleaning up to do before it goes to him, but a lot, of, a lot of grinding still left to do. Yeah, the way Josh works is that he doesn't finish out an area; he just kind of does the welding, goes through and does all the welding, and then goes back through and does all the grinding. Oh. He finds that. Well, this is defense. There was a bunch that was already left there too that he had oh, to yeah. go back through. So we'll, but it's that's that's the way he works, like he says. But it, he's around. but yeah. So and the bad thing about this bus being so rusty is there's gonna be some extra. Body work in a normal car usually. So, and, and our so body, it's going to be several luck. months with me. Yeah. Rusty, our body department already knows that. So, <laughs> so you know, I, well, we might be putting an uh, advertisement out for uh, body shop help. So, if you're in the area and kind of interested, you might want to contact us before we put up the, the little post. Okay. So, I certainly need a little bit of help. Yep. Get older. I love my doing my jobs. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's looking good. Things are coming along just fine, and we'll leave you to it. You know what to do. Bye, Bye nice people. people.